okay? We're learning today. You are learning. Everyone has to crawl before they walk, just like y'all. At some point, you didn't know what it was. Somebody had to introduce you. Yeah, the laundromat arcade <laughs> machine introduced me to Tekken. Thank you. Yeah, I've uh, known Tekken. We, had a we are at Outer Realm. Uh, yes. Outer Realm in South Haven, Mississippi. Yes, yep. Sensator is correct. Uh, Miss Iron Curtain had asked, where was this at? Yep, you come on down. If you, I think, what is it, $5 to the venue, and then it's $10 per game normally. So bring cash if you are planning on coming and entering MS in. MS in Mississippi. MS yes. in Mississippi. M-I-S. No, hold on. Correction. Oh, M-I. Um. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Hump there back, you hump go. back, I. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, she took it back to elementary. Okay, we got the, we got no, a real no, fight. I, I was thinking Dave Brown. Okay. Hey, you know what? That's kind of what I remember, though. From That's my the way I remember it. From my elementary was not... It was ratchet. Okay, we're going to get back to the game. Though. All right, here we go. All right. So now, King versus Grand. I shouldn't say King because it's a little Majin, but Grand versus little Majin. Exactly. I kind of look at him as the King, though, so it's kind of hard not to do that. Like, the King of Tekken, like, as a, like, the King player of Tekken. I actually learned something interesting today that I want to share with the folks that they didn't know about little Majin. I personally got to play with him as some casuals before we got started and asked him, did he choose King by playing everybody and just getting a feel for folks, or did King choose him? <laughs> Basically, King chose him because he was such a big wrestling fan. Makes sense. So as soon as he gravitated to the fighting world, he picked somebody that was a wrestling background. And it's perfect fit. So we got a wrestler versus a boxer. Shoe fits, wear it. Wrestler's taking two rounds. Boxer's trying to come back. Yeah, it looks like that Steve is kind of on the ropes. He's going to have to start being a little bit more aggressive, but I don't know if he's going to let him. I mean, he's not really on the ropes because he's not on the wall. Well, it's just look, look at this. Oh, and he sidestepped to make him miss that Imagine damn Imagine clearly rage. control here. Oh, yes, he's look, being patient. Bop, bop, bop. Tekken doesn't take very long to come back in. You can do it. Oh, with grab. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. Yo, go with the kick oh, yo, to the knee. Mm. He, you know, said somebody kick, he said bow down. He said bow down. Oh, Lord. That was getting serious. <laughs> it is serious. This it's is a tournament. Serious. I mean. This, this is getting real serious. I mean. Uh, it's fighting words where I came from. You know, normally I would be ready to jack. Somebody said that to me. The king of king's baby. Hmm. Hmm, that's an interesting statement there. I don't know why. For some reason, it makes me think. The king of kings, baby. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it at all. I'm going to leave it alone. The king Back of to kings, the, baby. Hey, I, I'm a, I ain't going to touch it. The way you keep, said it was just so dry. I mean, <laughs> it just, it's something, <laughs> something came to mind, but I was just like, I'm going to leave it alone because it may be too much. All right, here we go. Elbow drop to the face. The top rope. All right, here we go. Let's see who said you want to go ahead and put it in the face with the punches. <laughs> I did not say nothing else. You the one thought it. You thunk it. You want to I didn't go say down. nothing. Look, you, you, you went all the way with that one. I didn't say nothing. Okay. King took the first one. Bop, bop. Low Ooh, okay, down. low parry. So he is not done. Okay. Punch over the head. Got blocked. I really like And we're going uh, swinging, folks. Grand swing, man. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Always, will forever do. Really gotta break that. <laughs> you cannot let him get away with bop, that. Bop. Okay. Bop, bop. Oh, can break again. Grand is going down on this one. Ooh, that's gonna kill. That does kill. Yeah. You gotta break if you fight against King. I do know that at least. Oh my goodness. But there's no combo breakers on here, though. It's not, but you can break a grab, though. Yeah, Especially if it's that long, that long grab he does. Oh, the wall kind of messed him up on that one. An awkward positioning. Yes, definitely. All right, does. here we go. It changed the position. Oh, didn't finish. He didn't <laughs> finish the string, but he dropped the combos. So it's okay. Bop, All right, bop, here we go. Pick up. Bop, bop. Wall splat. All right. Nice He's pressure. trying to come back to take this round. Ooh. Okay. Marjan said, no, I'm not ready to Tekken go down. What, is, what was going on? Okay. Nice. Boot to the face. He said, taste my boot. 
Is that it? Yes, that is it. Three out of five. Three out of five. Okay, three out of five. Three out of five. No, oh, three out of five oh, okay. on this one. Wow, this tournament is flying by. What is the match? What is this matchup like for Steve and vice versa? You know, Majin says King has no bad matchups, but do people think it benefits Steve or King? Mm, just watching this fight, honestly, I feel like King would benefit over it because he can do a lot more to get out of the way. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm not Steve a is a lot fighter. faster, quicker fighter yes. than King is. I could see that so you would think technically that Steve should win just based on speed, but it depends on the player overall. Right. But as far as like their options are concerned, I think that's what they're trying to find out. They're trying to see... Based off their both or both of their options, which one of them would have an easier time or should have an easier time? I still say King. But that's not an easy fighter. True. You can Goodness. look at the specs all day of the player overall as far as the actual character, but it's uh, it's all on the person that's winning. True. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially if they do a drop. Just like yeah, Steve missed yeah, their punch. That's the thing. Like you, you think that they're a robot, and then they drop a combo. And that's your opportunity. And because you think they're a robot, you're not going to attack. You're going to get froze. And I've done, I've done that several and times. And there goes Steve with the rage. Pop, pop. Okay. And Brand got that round. Okay. All right, Grant said, I'm not done. All right, I'm not done. All right, I'm get at least one of these rounds. All right, come on. So this is three out of five. It is. So Grand does have a chance to come back. He definitely, definitely still does. He can stop this momo mo momentum. <laughs> momentum. Now, are we going to see him flying through, through the side? This is a breakable one. I'm surprised it hadn't already happened. Close line. Nah, the way they're the moving, though. Steps. No, they, they sidestepping really well, both of them. Okay. Yeah, he is. And we're going swinging again, folks. Oh, nope, not you swinging. Gotta break. You gotta He's break. gonna break. Okay, no, nah, he ain't gonna break yet. I thought it was gonna be a chain command grab, but it was not. Ooh, that little cross. What? That was a punch to the face. To oh, you. and there it I is. I told you. <laughs> when are we going to see it? And there we go from the top rope. Okay, he, he messed up on that combo right there, but it's all good. He's still, he's still in, in control very much. Yes. Life lead here. And Grant has got to pull something out. Light lead. Do you let your color fix up? Because I see orange, and then I see orange and yellow. That means there's, a, there's extra help. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. And little Majin takes this one, folks. Grand he was really fighting. He down to the losers. He, he tried. He really did. He did his thing. 